Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Studios here and welcome back to another movie review. And for today's movie review, I'm going to be reviewing Rocky. So Rocky came out in the year 1976 and is directed by John G. Adelsden, the same director as my favorite sports movie of all time, The Karate Kid, and stars Sylvester Stallone as uh, the iconic uh, box, um, fictional boxer Rocky Balboa, also Talia Shire and Carl Weathers. Basically, the film tells the story of Rocky Balboa, who is a small uh, Philadelphia boxer, like a, a, an unpopular boxer who is chosen by uh, um, a, a Apollo Creed who visiting Philadelphia to uh, challenge him in, in, in a major um, boxing match. Uh, but um, uh, Rocky Balboa um, has a, a lack of uh, training for it as uh, he's um, busy with his uh, personal life work and but but he must uh, be able to uh, get the time to train and be able to uh, take on uh, the heavyweight champion Apollo Creed. So yeah, um, um, as you all know, Creed 3 is coming out this Friday and I am really hyped for it because I love the Creed movies. I think I prefer the Creed movies over the Rocky. Uh, movies pers personally um i will acknowledge that rocky's a better made film but i just really love cream more I, I, um and i'll explain more when i um get a chance to uh, review the cream movies but um rocky is definitely a film i i totally respect for being iconic this movie won best picture and i believe this is the only sports movie that won best picture and and i can totally see why because um yeah, there's, there's so many things to love about this movie, and uh, um, now just a heads up when it comes to this whole franchise that I'll be reviewing, there were some films that I only I have not seen yet, uh, since I felt like um, at the time there were like, too many Rocky movies to handle, so I um, never really got the chance to watch uh, some of them. I have seen Rocky Four. that's like the only Rocky sequel besides Creed, obviously, that I have seen. The, the reason why I saw Rocky Four is because of Creed Two, so storyline. Uh, um, but yeah, um, now time for me to talk about Rocky as I saw the second time. Now, does this movie deserve the praise that it gets? Absolutely, it does. Again, I don't think this is the best in the Rocky franchise, like what everyone else says. But when it comes to the original franchise, even though I have not seen the majority of them, I'm very sure this is the best one. Uh, it best of the um. Rocky movies, the original ones, uh, because I don't see any yes, any of the sequels uh, topping this because Rocky is such an iconic masterpiece and John G. Avils then is probably the best uh, sports director. Yeah, rest in peace to that guy. I mean, he made two um amazing sports movies in a row. He made he directed my favorite sports movie, Credit Kid. Uh, uh, and then he directed this iconic masterpiece. Yeah, um, I I wish he was here to direct more sports movies. Uh. I'm a huge fan of boxing. I, I, I absolutely love watching boxing. Every time there's a, um, a new boxing match from our um, iconic, uh, from our local Filipino boxers, we always watch them. Um, specifically by Pacquiao, but that's, um, but yeah, um, um, I, I love watching boxing scenes with, in um, the Korean movies. This one, um, I think what I love about Rocky is that, uh, it doesn't really focus on the boxing scenes. I mean, but it, it mainly focuses on Rocky Balboa's personal life. Unlike the Creed movies where um, a lot of it is, is about the boxing and training, which I like that better personally. But I appreciate Rocky for not um, having too many boxing scenes and, and trying to uh, focus more on building character and conflict. Um, um, Rocky is one of the most uh, iconic uh, char movie characters of all time. And I can totally see why. What I love about Rocky is that they really take time to uh build on his character. Um um they really build him from the ground all the way going up. I mean and he really does have some great character development and Sylvester Stallone, uh this is his best role to date though. Although I do think Creed one and two are, are his best performances. I mean um Rocky Balboa is uh, hands down the uh, um, Sylvester Stallone's best performance. Now you, I know you might tell me, oh, but I, I thought you said King Shark is Sylvester's best performance. Uh, kind of, but I think uh, Rocky is better. Um, like easily, I, I don't see any how uh King Shark uh overshadows uh, Rocky Balboa. Um, and I really love all the other characters. I mean, his uh romantic chemistry with Adrian is really good, and I think 
Um, Asia is kind of an underappreciated uh, female character. No one talks about her. Um, um, no one talks about her. But but I really like Adrian. I mean, she um definitely. Des- Although yeah, I I do hear people talking about her though. But I think she doesn't get enough credit for it. But, um, even though Rocky Balboa is the best character, my personal favorite character in 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 this movie, has to be Apollo Creed. Yeah, the um heavyweight champion who uh challenges um Rocky Balboa. Um, and that's actually one thing I love about this movie. There actually isn't a villain. Usually, like most Rocky movies would have would have the opponent be a villain, but Apollo Creed isn't really a villain. Like he's kind of, I think he's the antagonist, but again, not all antagonists are are the villain. I I would say, but although I would say the main antagonist is. Creed's manager, but and Creed is just um an opponent. Uh, but I don't think he really, um, but then again, yeah, I don't really see Apollo Creed as uh the as a villain. Um, cause especially when it comes to uh later on in Rocky franchise, specifically Rocky Four, I'm sure um, there there will be um something between um, um Rocky and Creed that um. That really gets them close together because I know that they end up being close friends eventually. Now I think I might have an I'm not sure if I interpreted this right. Um, saying that Creed is not really the villain and the manager is 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 um the main antagonist. I'm not sure if I, interp- if I cr- interpreted that 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 correctly. But I know Apollo Creed is my personal favorite character. Um, um in 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 the Rocky movies. So, uh, well besides the Creed movies, obviously. Um, but yeah. Um. Um, the boxing scenes are absolutely excellent. Um, I real yeah, I love the boxing scenes. Um, in this um, but I think we can all agree on what is the best scene in the film, the training montage. I mean, I think this the, um, when you think about Rocky, the first thing that comes into your mind is the um iconic score. You know, dun 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 dun. dun you know, like that. That yeah, that's really the first thing because. That's pretty much the best thing about Rocky for me. It's like hearing that iconic score. Because every time I think about Rocky, uh, that score comes into mind. And um, the training montage, I think it's the best training montage I've ever seen. Yeah, um, not even the Cobra Kai training montage. It's um, stand, like, stand a chance against uh, this training montage. I mean, come on. It's a Rocky training montage. I mean, that's pretty much that's easily the best in the film. And no nothing else in this in this film come close to that that iconic scene and yeah man the music one of the greatest scores of all time in, in like top 10 easily um every time i hear that score in future um in in, in the sequels and, and including the creed movies i get chills down my spine hearing that because i love that so much yeah so overall rocky is, is an iconic masterpiece it is the best movie in 1976 and definitely my top 10 favorite movies in, of the 1970s it's not the best in the entire Rocky franchise, like what everyone else says. That goes to Creed 1 and 2. But, um, yeah, this movie um, will forever be remembered as something iconic. And this the one, this is the one that started it all. And I love this director. Since he directed my favorite sports movie, The Karate Kid, and then directed this. And yeah. So, with that said, uh, um, Rocky definitely gets a 10 out of 10. I, I know there might be some things I, inter- I understood wrong, so... Please don't hate me for that. I um, please don't um, please don't get mad at me if you think I I if you're gonna accuse me for not paying attention. Yes, I did pay attention. Uh, but I feel like I I understood like some things differently than others. So, so yeah. Um, what um that's all from my review of Rocky. Uh, what is your opinion on this movie? Uh, do you think this is the best in the franchise, or do you agree with me that the Creed do the Creed movies are better? Comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for my review of Creed Two. Bye, guys.